One of the favorite species of fish that I have in my aquariums are these Dalkinsia rohani from southern India. I've actually had these four fish for almost five years. They got to me pretty small. And if you look back in the video archives, you're going to see a video about four years ago that show these same fish when they're less than two inches long. I have always intended to give spawning of these Dalkinsia rohani a try, and the time has come. So here we go. Let's try to spawn Dalkinsia rohani. My Rohani barbs have been living in this 150 gallon display tank in my living room for quite a while. I don't keep this tank for anything specific. It's a lot of catch-alls and lonely hearts, odds and ends fish that I just like to have around. One of the problems with Rohani barbs is that they're big and they need some space in order to spawn. And one of the reasons I have not tried to spawn them before is I really don't have a tank down in the fish room that's large enough that's also free from other fish to allow me to set them up specifically to catch eggs. But I think I came up with an idea that's going to allow me to spawn them right here in this 150 gallon tank. I'm going to use this egg trap to see if I can harvest eggs from the barbs right in the tank where they're already living. All the egg trap is, is yarn mops sunk in the bottom of a plastic bin. So normally I use floating mops for most of the fish that spawn in mops, but in this case I need a sinking mop. So all I'm going to do is take a floating mop and I'm going to rubber band it to a rock. Hopefully the Rahani barbs will see this new object in the tank as a big pile of plants and use it to deposit eggs. Within just a few minutes of putting that yarn egg trap into the tank, the Rahani barb started to display some spawning behavior. And it didn't take very long for these females to start shaking eggs out into the yarn. A sure sign that the barbers are producing eggs is watching all the other fish in the tank move in for the caviar feast. For this breeding project I want to collect a lot of eggs and I'm doing it over several days. I'm going to try several different ways of hatching the eggs in hopes of getting a good hatch rate. Well conditioned barbs will lay eggs every day, but I find that I get more eggs if I give them a two or three day break between spawning sessions. I put the egg trap into the tank early in the morning and I leave it in there for about six hours and the barbs start spawning almost immediately and they'll keep spawning until I take out the egg trap. The barb eggs are not adhesive, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spawning mops one at a time and I'm going to shake them off in this pan of the clean water. Eggs should fall out of the mops and go into the pan. So the eggs are not only non-adhesive, they're heavy and they're going to sink to the bottom. 
So I'm gonna now decant the water off the top of these two tubs into this empty tub, discard that old water, and we should be able to see the eggs in the bottom of the bins. We have a few hundred eggs. The Dalkinsia Rohani eggs are pretty small, but they're not microscopic and the fry that hatch out of an egg this size should be manageable. The eggs are actually clear and the only reason we can see them here is because they're covered with some of the dirt that came out of those yarn mops. To hatch the eggs and for our first nursery I'm going to hatch them in this small bucket. I've already got a, a sponge filter in here. It's a very small sponge filter. It's not percolating very fast. To that I'm going to add uh, a little bit of guppy grass, but not quite yet. Here are the mops that came from the tank, and now we shook most of the eggs out of them, but I can pretty much promise you there's still eggs in them. So I'm going to shake them out in here first. All the eggs are in the little hatching container. I'm going to show you the water. You're going to notice that it looks pretty gross because there was a lot of stuff inside those mops, but that's okay because when these fry hatch, they're going to take a couple days to become free swimming, and then they're going to need all kinds of microorganisms in order to feed them. So what we'll do is we'll leave the junk in there so all the little parameciums and all that kind of stuff, they'll have something to eat right away. So here is the hatching container 24 hours after the eggs have gone in. You can see the water has cleared up quite a bit. Uh, the bottom has got that layer of mulm on it. That's where the eggs are at. The eggs should still hatch, no problem. No eggs have hatched yet. I should start seeing fry tomorrow or the next day. Unfortunately, the first attempt to spawn that batch of eggs from the Dakinzia Rahane was not a resounding success. I ended up seeing one or two small fry, but nowhere near what I would consider a good hatch rate. That's not all bad news. You can't find much information about hatching these fish, so a lot of what I'm trying to do is breaking new ground. So I'm going to go collect some more eggs out of the group in the big aquarium, and we're going to try again tomorrow in a different way.